My biggest fear is rejection. You know, growing up, you know, I was teased a lot, uh, mostly by boys, you know, uh, they called me ugly and, you know, said I wasn't pretty. They called me, you know, a bunch of nasty names. Uh, my dad wasn't really in my life as a child. As far as my mom, we didn't have a close relationship at, at that time when I was growing up. Um, she wasn't very loving towards me. Um, I wanted that love and that affirmation um, from my relationships I didn't get from my parents. It started when, in high school um, and it was around my uh, junior year and she you know was telling me all the things that I never heard you know she was telling me how pretty I was uh, how beautiful I was and you know I never had that type of love or, or someone who loved me in that way um, so you know I'll never forget the time that you know I finally did come out and tell um, my family when I had told my mom um, you know, it wasn't the best reaction that I had gotten from her. Um, I remember that day because I had gone there to pick up, you know, my clothes and the rest of the things that I had left at the house. And when I had went to put my key in the door, um, they had changed the locks. I would say I lived a pretty reckless life. It included a lot of drinking, partying, drugs. I was living in, um, sexuality the relationship that I was in I thought I was really you know in love with this girl I thought I was gonna spend the you know rest of my life with this person um, later as, a, as that relationship grew um, that it became very toxic the drinking increased when I was in this relationship because when we would fight my go-to was the drinking I, I, I watched my parents and my family drink so that, that part of my life is, is something I've learned and I felt like that's just what you know you do. You drink when something goes wrong or you drink when you're, you're happy or when you, when you want to celebrate something you drink, that's just what you do. And around the time during when COVID had first came out, that's when I just started to realize that you know the environment that I was in and how I was living my life was just very, very toxic. And it really, you know, didn't hit me until, you know, after I had lost uh, my best friend, and, and she had she had passed away. Uh, once I got saved, um, that's when I started, you know, doing stuff outside of just coming to church on Sundays. Um, I started going to celebrate recovery at that time as well. My relationship grew just because I learned more about God and the Word and the Bible at that time. We started taking this class, Spirit Empowered Ministry, and it just teaches you about the Holy Spirit and the different giftings. I remember it was March of 2021, I believe. I just started praising and I just started worshiping and all of a sudden, I just felt the Holy Spirit um, come over me, and I just felt like I had never felt God's love like that. And I just knew at that in that moment that His His love for me is real. And I felt like everything that I had gone through in my past just flashed before my eyes. And I, I heard Him say, "You know, this is not who I created you to be, and this is." not the life that I want you to have. And in that moment, I felt like God delivered me from the homosexuality lifestyle. This was truly a change that God did inside of me. I see myself as somebody who is growing. I'm a lot more happier. God knew where I needed to be to make these changes in my life. And, and right now I'm just going through a healing journey. Um, I, I am 
two years sober now, and this is the longest I have gone without drinking. You know, I've prayed about it, and I know that, that God, you know, has a husband for me in the future. Hopefully in the future, you know, I, I do get married, and, and I've always wanted to have, you know, kids, so that's, that's one of the big things that, you know, I, I can't wait for. that it doesn't matter what other people think or what they're going to say. All that matters is what God thinks and what He says. I think God says that He is very proud of the changes um, that I have made and He does love me. We are a very a small church, but we are like a family. I just have a lot of people at the church that I can count on. <clears throat> I start over. <laughs>